What's up guys? Today we're taking a look at a really cool product from Intel. This is their compute stick and what it is, it's a little device, a little HDMI stick that's not much larger than a flash drive but in itself is a full PC. So let's go ahead and take a look. The compute stick itself comes in this really small box that just says Intel compute stick on the front. And I believe it says connect compute. It's that simple. Um, just showing you that it is a simple device. Um, on the side, it actually has a picture of it. I'm not sure if that's the full size, if that's a, a one to one ratio. And it says just transforms any HDMI TV or display into a computer, which is the whole you know idea behind this. On the uh, back here, it just says a computer in the palm of your hand and then for more information, all of that. And then on this side, it has our specs. And then on the bottom, it has like all of our, you know, all of that information, all your serial numbers and all that fun stuff. Getting everything out of the box, you have your little user's manual here. You have your safety information and cautions guide. We of course have the compute stick here itself. We have our HDMI adapter, and this is really great because you know you might have some other different HDMI sticks plugged in, or you don't have a whole lot of room where your HDMI connectors are. So this allows you to kind of move the HDMI stick out of the way so you have enough room to go ahead and plug it in. And then we have our power adapter with the different end adapters depending on your region. Taking a first look at the compute stick, you can just get an idea of the size here. And to do that, I actually have some flash drives handy and we'll kind of line these up next to it. So you get an idea of the size. So you can see it is a little bit larger than your typical flash drive, but again, still very small. So I'm, I'm actually able to, you know, pick this up and put it in my hand and take it with me places. Obviously can fit in my pocket and all of that. Um, it's a little bit larger than a Chromecast and a little bit larger than the Amazon Fire TV stick, but again, still not that large at all. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see the little Intel logo here. We have a little, I believe this is a power LED that's right above there. We have um, some just some ventilation to keep things nice and cool there on the front. Of course, on the end, we have our HDMI connection right here, and this allows you to plug this into any HDMI display, whether it's a TV or monitor, you can go ahead and plug it right in there. Now on this side, we have some connections. So we have a USB 3.0 port, a USB 2.0 ports and a micro USB connection. Now the micro USB connection is used for power. It's not a uh, data port, but you do have two USBs and this is a, um, upgrade over the previous generation. So this is actually the second generation um, compute stick. So we have a second USB on there. So these are great. So this allows you to plug in any USB device. So keyboard, mouse, um, you know, USB printer, things like that. Or you can use it to easily install your operating system. Now the stick that we have comes with Windows pre-installed, but there is a version that does not come with Windows. So you have the ability to install Windows via USB or any other operating system you want via USB right there. So pretty nice to have those. And then you have your power button here on the end. And then flipping over to the other side, we have the mini SD uh, right here that allows you to add extra storage to the device. And that is pretty much it for the device. It's a very, very small device. Now inside here, this is again, the second generation. Um, I wanna reiterate that because there are a lot of differences between the first generation and second generation. So the first generation came out about a year ago. This one I believe was just announced at CES or came out shortly after. So this one um, is powered by a quad core Intel Atom X5 Z8300, and that's a cherry trail, cherry trail processor. It has two gigabytes of DDR3L memory, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. It does have that micro USB, which I showed you right here. And, um, and this has support for up to 128 gigabytes of extra storage if you wanna add it in there. And um, it does ship with Windows 10 Home on here. Now, again, there is a version that does not have Windows installed. Now, also, um, it does have 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2. So if you wanna use it as sort of like a home media server or something like that, you can go ahead and do that with wireless keyboard and wireless mouse as long as they're Bluetooth. And it has a two by two antenna, 
which is kind of nice. So um, this has been our quick little unboxing and overview of Intel's Compute Stick. Remember, this is second generation, not first, not first generation. So make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. Until next time, catch you guys later.